Good evening, passengers. Today we have a, a very long day of traveling with us today. And today we're going to be going right over Sydney World. Now, as we do have a lot of traveling, we might want to get started. Before we prance into the, this major park, we're going to want to get to briefly know our fa the founder of this park and three of its major must-stop-by places. First off by place you're going to want to see is our most famous Family and Friends Island. Now, here at Family and Friends Island, we have a lot of fun entertainment rides, and we're even going to hop into the rock and roller coaster and head right on to over to the Hall of Fame of and Friends of Sydney. Now, our next stop by place we're going to go visit is Hobbies and Interest Studio. And at Hobbies and Interest Studio, we not only get to see performances done by Sydney, but as well as different things that she does in her pastime. And our third and most interesting place of all, and I always save the best for last, is the Castle of Future Dreams. Here we're going to see different amusements coming soon to you, and even plans that our founder plans for the future of magic and captivating entertainment. So let's all hop on to our, the trolley and go down memory lane and head right on over to family and interest. Uh, Family and Friends Island. Now, here at Family and Friends Island, there is a lot to see and do, of course. But at the center of it all is the founder, Sydney. Sydney was born on in Council Plus, Iowa, on, at Mercy Hospital on June 9, 2004. Sydney, and later in life, Sydney is going to be traveling and riding the rails with her loving family. Her mom. Jennifer, who Sydney has said she admires the most in the world because she sees how hard and dedicated she is. And followed by Jennifer is her dad, Lonnie, and followed by Lonnie is her little brother, Caden. This, you can and definitely say, this is a very magical family, but it would not be complete without the Dole Whip dog, Boomer Doodle. He just turned five. While Sydney loves to vacation with her family and do all those kind of fun things, but she can never truly enjoy herself if she wasn't with her friends. Now, Sydney is a part of a very interesting group, to say them at least. They're very goofy and perky, but her favorite goofball of the bunch is her friend Madeline, who she refers to as her older sister. Now, this is not the, <laughs> this is not the last of it. We also have Jordan, who Sydney met when she was four, and you could definitely say these two are the Tweedledee and Tweedledum twins. <laughs> Followed by Jordan is her friend Cameron, and followed by Cameron is Maddie and Maggie. Now, they all met in freshman year at, at dance class. And these girls love to dance and do a lot of fun things, which also happens to be one of Sydney's favorite pastimes. Sydney loves to dance and loves to move, but she also she had a ball one, uh, one time at doing the trolley show at Disney World as well as felt dancing with her fellow members at MotionWorks Dance Studio. Now, but when Sydney's not out and about doing dancing, you, can, you might see her goofing off at Target uh, singing Hakuna Matata. <laughs> but even though she has all these fun hobbies and interests here at Hobbies and Interests Studio, <laughs> you, you might hear some music like Hakuna uh, Matata, but Probably not if we think about it, because one of Sydney's favorite things to do, she has one of four ukuleles, so you might spot a ukulele player if you wish upon a star. And you might also, venturing through the studio, you might hear some of her favorite songs, one like A-OK -okay by Ty Burnes, or More of the Story by Ash featuring Niall Horn, Horn and also Candy by Robbie Williams. All these songs are the perfect thing to do while you're going through the studio and waiting in line. But there's more to it. When you're waiting in line, you might want to take a glance. At all these major parks, you're going to see some hidden Sydney features. Some, like fun facts about Sydney herself, and even some of her favorite memorable quotes in her, from her lifetime. As we continue on, we have one last stop to do, and that is the Castle of Future Dreams. Here at the Castle of Future Dreams, while there is a lot of fun rides, but there's a lot of stuff coming soon to you. One of the things in Sydney's life she plans to do, and later in the later in 
the world of captivating and entertainment is Sydney wants to enhance her knowledge <coughs> at the South D University of South Dakota. Here, she wants to learn about media and journalism, as well as she also wants to double major in musical theater. And later in life, she plans after she's done singing and dancing, she wants to do some more and go back to Disney World in Florida and dance some there. And then after she's done in Florida, she plans to come back to her hometown of Council Bluffs and learn and teach other kids about music and help them along in their journey. Now, we've had a long day of traveling. We've went and gone and oh, where's that? We, had, we went to family and friends islands and experienced the colors of the wind there. Then after family and friends island, we went over and journeyed right over onto Hobbies and Interest Studio. And after Hobbies and Interest Studio, we jumped right on over to the Castle of Future Dreams. Now in all these magical places, we have one good takeaway from this is that in Sydney world, this is a definitely a goofy, magical, and memorable place for you to entertain you and your family and friends. And, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> been there, done that. Um, while Sydney World is definitely entertaining and all this other stuff, this is, does conclude the end of our trip of captivating entertainment. Now remember, we, you should make sure you check all your luggage to make sure you have all your souvenirs and lovely things. And thank you for being our guest here at Collins Airlines. <coughs> and remember, it's only around the river bend, and life is a happy song. <laughs>